Boom! Wicked Android HD here. 1st of January 2016. First day of the year and Wicked comes with the first review of the year, which uh, I'm gonna be calling AICP Marshmallow Edition for the Galaxy S4. Of course, after the release of the Nightly on CM13, here comes many ROMs based on um, CM, of course, with their own interface. So, this is a disclaimer about this review, which I'm going to be showing you in the following minutes. First of all, uh, I want to make sure you guys see that this is running AICP. And the disclaimer will talk about the things that I will include in this video and uh, the things that I include in all of my reviews. Of course, we're going to be talking about uh, the customization part, then we're going to get into smoothness and performance, then we're going to get into battery life. So, as you may see, I'm running AICP 11 nightly version, which seems to be, actually it is kind of a beta stage. A ROM, this is a ROM in beta stage, before the stable stage. Um, Android version Marshmallow 6.0.1 device Galaxy S4. Build number, it was built on 1st of January, so today it was built and today I'm gonna be making a, I'm making a review. So, yep. Always precise and right on time, Wicked Android. Yep, <coughs> so, okay. Uh, let's take a look at the battery, battery juice 92%, I'm just telling you so at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video actually, I will show you how much uh, a battery it, uh, it consumed over the, over the entire review, so 92% and I'll show at the end of the video how much of a battery is left um, on the device, okay. Let's get into the customization part because customization part is the most important thing that you will get on this uh, ROM. AICP is well known for its customizability. So let's get into business. As you may see, may already see or may not, so if you don't take a look closer, you may be able to customize, you are able actually to customize the tiles here. So you can add, sorry what the heck is wrong with this, you can add as many tiles as you want from here for example i will be adding uh, a reboot menu a reboot tile then i will browse through compass and of course let's take a look at nfc it's really hard to manipulate beh behind the camera and take a look at the same time on the uh, dslr to make sure the focus is right on right on deck okay uh, <clears throat> show weather as you saw Actually, I don't think you saw it, but we have here weather displayed, really detailed weather, open weather map, the provider, and you can hide this by going, by sliding right and then uh, untick the show weather. Of course, you can uh, uh, click on large first row in order to make more, to have more, more icons per row. And I will show you right here. This is how it looks like. I really like uh, this. This look, take a look. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, it looks better in my opinion. Yep. So this this uh, part you'll also find in any other CM ROMs. But the most important thing that I wanted to get uh, into right now is AICP Extras, which is a whole different application. Actually, is a standalone application that controls everything related to the system user interface and other customization tweaks. As you may see, we have a bunch of options here that we're gonna get be getting through in the following moments. So display and animations. We can customize system animations by going through this and selecting different uh, and select different uh, animations on your taste, of course. Toast icon displays the app icon corresponding with the toast. So if you if you get a notification, for example, from the super user, here we get a toast, and then in the left side of the toast, you'll get a notification of the app just to make sure you know where that toast comes from. Uh, and of course, you can set up a, a specific toast animation. Power menu animation, of course, and everything related to animations. And of course, you can uh, edit the LCD density, the lower the value, the more items you will, you will be able to fit on the screen. Status bar, 
of course super user indicator you will get some kind of a hashtag here uh, you can uh, toggle to activate to activate or disable it headset icon when headsets are connected let's just take a look at how it looks because how it looks like because i have really headphones here as you may see this is how it looks like headphones right there yep a icp logo which will appear here it's not something related to the notification bar it's just the logo you can also customize the location and the color of it traffic indicators you can uh, browse through outgoing and ingoing traffic as you may see these icons here um carrier label and battery bar i haven't seen battery bar for a while so i need i feel the urge to show you status bar this is how it looks like i um i really like it because if you don't want this battery icon you can just leave the battery bar here and you know how you how much battery you have left on your device status bar weather temperature hidden show with scale of course this is a new tweak i suppose haven't seen this on any other rom roms until now status bar weather temperature so it shows the same temperature as here from brashov romania here on the status bar which is a really cool tweak i'd rather show on the left and of course the first system user interface uh, force close it is normal since it as i told you it is a nightly build right now as you may see after it rebooted the system user interface shows the weather on the left side which is cool so we're done with the status bar and now we're gonna get into notification drawer a time contextual header you know what this does uh, task manager you get this task manager here okay again the system sorry the system user interface needs to uh, reboot and as you can see we have our own task manager here which shows you how much uh, ROM you have left on um, on the device force expand notification disable immersive mode messages self-explanatory we got out of the of the application oh, of course again system user interface reboot uh, in order to make everything working after we modified it recent panel clear all button you'll get it here which will kill all the apps you can set up the location and everything related to it lock screen lock screen blur whoa this is sick this is sick and this is as i told you at the beginning of the video this is what aicp roms are all about customizab customizability let's take a look at how it blurs yeah really nice blur really nice blur and let's make it even more blurry yep Lock screen weather, you can set up a new wallpaper if you want to. But well, let's see how it looks on the on the main screen. What the heck? So this is a bug, it actually it isn't working. It isn't fully working. But let's take a look. Lock screen blur. Sure power menu. It should it should have shown the yep it doesn't it still shows the application that were we were in the aicp extras but yeah it's it's normal because it's in beta beta stage okay so lock screen we're done with that multi shit it's really strange way to got into this multi shit because pi control is something that we don't really use by targets let me show you um by size gigantic 
always on the right side. Okay. I think you know what this is all about. You slide from a part of the screen and then something pop up, pops out with uh, the clock and uh, any other shortcuts that you pre-select. App circle bar, yep, Omni switch. And uh, various shit, because of course after multi shit we need to get into various shit. Which is a system user interface tuner, which will get into the stock Android experience customizability, customizable experience that you'll get with the marshmallow. Scrolling cache, it, it's a critical uh, feature that you need to take in mind if you have some lags during scrolling. You may deactivate it, disable force close notifications if you have system, UIs for, system user interface force closes. Swipe three finger to screenshot. Well, yep. Yeah. This is cool, so, yep, I'm gonna be taking screenshots all the way, yep, really cool, system app removal, self-explanatory, and of course, because it's based on CM, you have the ability to download themes from Google Play Store, and let's get into the system user interface tuner, this is how, uh, how the stock Android experience in terms of customization looks like so customization part believe me or not it will i will give it 10 out of 10 because it's aicp and aicp is all about android ice calls project which means highly customizable wrong 10 out of 10 in terms of in terms of customizability and customizations and everything related to customize yeah Okay, so we talked about the uh, customization part. Let's get into the bugs of this ROM. As you may see, the preferred network types, the selection of the preferred network types, switching back and forth between these, uh, these options here is working perfectly as uh, it was lately on the, recently actually, on the Galaxy on the CM13 ROM that I reviewed yesterday but it's still the invalid number bug it's still present as you as you may see after we end up a call uh, it is gonna be it is is gonna be shown on uh, the screen messaging application of course with pop-up messages and this is how the lock screen looks like um, any other box? I heard that uh, the WhatsApp has some uh, really major problems with the uh, Marshmallow release. Releases on the Galaxy S4, actually the unofficial and the latest one from based on CM. In terms of uh, microphone, I heard that there are some clicks. Some I don't know how to how to say it. there are some problems with the microphone in terms of recording purposes. Yep, and that's uh, that may be a problem. Of course, another big problem, big bug of this ROM is that Bluetooth isn't working, so isn't synchronizing with other devices. So, if you have a Bluetooth headset, you won't be able to stream out music to it. So, yeah, this is a major bug. These are mainly the major bugs that will occur on my Marshmallow CM based on CM13 ROMs. Um, Either way, camera, application, nope, deny, of course, as always, come on. We're gonna be taking a picture and everything looks as it should be. So, in terms of uh, performance and smoothness, you saw during the video that everything is working pretty fine. I wouldn't say perfect because this ROM is over bloated with all kinds of customizability things. Um, but uh, you don't get a uh, kernel, you get system profiles either way. You don't get uh, a kernel management application, but you can download it from Google Play Store. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend that tons of applications that control kernels, even especially CM kernels. Okay, so another bug that is present on the Galaxy S4 running Marshmallow is that it uh, charges really slowly. You will get here a notification. I don't have the charger right next to me right now. It will says it will say uh, it's uh, charging slowly, and it it will charge slowly. Okay, performance and smoothness. Let's switch back and forth between some apps. Just to make sure you guys understand how fast it performs. You have AICP over the air updates. So it says you're up to date. And of course we have AICP extras. Here applica another application regarding uh, AICP ROMs. So... Uh, let's rank this up. A really difficult uh, opinion I have to make. I would rate it strong 9 out of 10 because it isn't perfect. There are some things that needs to be fixed, needs to be done. And of course, bugs. Again, another problem. So 9 out of 10, I think it would be great for this ROM because it's in an early stage. It's in a, an, an early stage. If it was declared as stable, I would rate it uh, at 7 out of 10 or 6 out of 10 because it isn't possible to have this kind of box on a stable release. But since it is an early build, everything is pretty much decent, I would say. Okay, battery life. I think it was 92% at the beginning of the video and uh, yep, 87% right now, which means 5% were eaten. Pretty nasty battery life, I would say, taking in mind that CM, the latest CM that I reviewed yesterday, I think it got 2 or 3% during the entire video with the same settings. Torch is working. Um, yep, that's uh, that's not the great the greatest news. Battery life seems to be mediocre, and I would rate it seven out of ten. Let's hope they will be able to fix everything up in next releases. Um, this was everything you needed to know. I think everything you need to know about this ROM at the beginning, at this, this stage, in this stage. And I hope uh, you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. By doing that, you'll be uh, kept updated with uh, every single Android ROMs uh, based, uh, actually made for with Galaxy S4. And uh, in the near future, I will get the Galaxy S6, as I told you, or the LG G4. I need to make up my mind and make a great decision. Thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. This was AICP ROM on 1st of January 2016. Take care. Bye-bye.